Hello guys, today we are going to create fur FX using vellum hair. Create Doris and adjust the parameters. Take a transform node and move the torus in Y axis slightly. Cool. Take a vellum constraint node and set the constraint type to distance along edges. Set the mass and thickness value to set uniform and 0.1 as well as 0.0025 respectively. The stretch stiffness parameter will decide how much the object will be stretched. In our case we will set it to 1000 times 1 and the damping ratio to 0.025. Enable the compression stiffness and keep it to default value. Then enable the plasticity and set the threshold value to 0.05. Rate value to 2 and the harding value to 1.05. Check the output group and we are done for this node. Again take the vellum constraint node and set the constraint type to bend across triangle. The bend stiffness will decide how much the object, in our case Doris, will be bent when it will collide to ground, or any other objects, for the stiffness parameter. We will set the value to 1 times 1. Enable plasticity. Set the threshold value to 1, rate value to 2, and the hardening value to 1.05. Then check the tick box of output group. Now take the vellum solver. Vellum solver is the node where every calculation happens. Vellum solver take 3 input. Geometry input, that is first input of solver, constraint input, that is second input of solver, and the collision geo, that is third input of solver. In our case we don't need collision geometry. Enable the ground position. Now from advanced tab you can see motion parameters. Increase the max acceleration to 100, and turn of the normalized stress. Basically if we keep it on the stress value will compute over time, but we don't need that.
Now take clean node. Turn on remove attributes and remove group. Take Object Merge and import the static torus. Subdivide it for more polygons. Add Hair Generate node. It will generate hair based on normals. Turn off Use Guides and increase the length to 0.2. Now we will randomize the hair direction using velocity volume. Basically, we are going to advect the hair. Now take volume VOP to add some noise and velocity fill. As you can see we have added some noise, now it's time to advect the hair based on velocity. Now take guide advect node. And connect the volume VOP output to fourth input of guide advect. As you can see, Hairs gets advected in random direction based on velocity. Turn on the open shade curve. It will shade the curve based on its width on viewport. Increase the anti-aliasing sample to 32x by pressing D key on your viewport. Now it's time to deform hair with our torus simulation. So first take object merge, and import out torus animation from our simulation.
freeze the first frame by taking time shift node. Now take point deform. Connect the time shift node to second input of point deform. Object merge to third input as well as guided vect second output to first input of point deform. As you can see our static torus is now deformed like our simulation, that we had done before. This will use to deform the hair in next step. Now take guide process set lift. This node will make the hair a straight line in that direction. Now take guide process, bend. This will bend the hair in the given angle. Set the angle value to 30, and random angle to 10. Now take guide process, set length. This node is used to set the random length for hairs. Turn on the randomize option, and keep the minimum length to 0.3, and maximum length to 0.7. Now take guide deform. This will deform the hair with animated torus that we have set up before using point deform. Add the rest data before the simulation. A tip for you guys, always add rest data before the simulation. This will be very useful for doing some kind of post sim tweaks. Now add group expression node and set the group type to point and group name to root. From the preset menu select first point of primitive. This will select the first point of each hair. Take a vellum constrained hair. Set the mass and thickness to set uniform. Now in pin to animation select our root group in, pin points, and turn on match animation. This will hold the root of hair with torus mesh during simulation and won't let them fall down. Just like human hairs. In stretch stiffness set the stiffness to 7.05 times 1 e plus 10. Reduce the damping ratio to 0.001. In the bend stiffness set the value to 2 times 0.1. Now take vellum solver. Enable the ground collider. In forces tab turn off wind.
Now dive inside the solver and add pop drag. Take pop force and animate the amplitude. As you can see even making the amplitude to zero, in the end hairs are still not getting stable. So to make it stable we are going to do post sim tweaks. First let's optimize it to save the disk space and cache the simulation. Add a clean node and delete all attributes expect width and rest. Delete all groups too. Now cache the simulation. Take a time shift and freeze the frame 1075. Take a blend shape. Connect file cache output to blend shape first, then connect the time shift. Now we are going to use fit function, you guys can manually animate it too. The fit function will animate the value from 0 to 1 in the given frame. That is 1065 to 1080. This is our guide simulation. But we need much more hairs. So to generate more hairs we need some attribute that will be required to generate denser hairs. So to do that, take a guide skin attribute lookup node. Now take hair generate node.
increase the density to 10,000. As you can see we get much denser hair based on our guide simulation. Turn off grow unguided hair in unguided hair section. This is optional step. If you need hair clumps then you can follow this step. Take hair clump node and connect it. As you can see we have some hair clumps. Now it's looking weird a bit. Let's adjust some parameters. In the shape section, set the method to linear blend. Reduce the tightness value to 0.5 and increase the stray rate to 0.5. Set the clump size to 0.1. Now add resample node to add some more point and make it a nice curve. Turn on the curve U attribute. Set the treat polygon as subdivision curve. For visualization purpose take a color node and set the color type to ramp from attribute. From attribute section select curve attribute. And set the color you want. This is the optional step. If you need thicker hair then take a attribute wrangle and type this expression.
let's set up the basic rendering. Let me told you I'm so weak in rendering, so I don't have much knowledge about rendering.
If you guys like this tutorial then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Which of the following tutorial you want me to do in next video? Comment it below. Jet contrails, aerial explosion, or ship landing dust FX. Goodbye artists. See you in next video.